Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see all the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the GET exam, okay? So if you want to see different of the my lectures, different courses, you can see on the Unacademy. Take the subscription of the Unacademy. And if you want to see the free classes, there are also several free classes. Every month I take several free classes. You can watch these free classes without taking subscription. So for this, you will have to uncode my code. My code is Priyanka Jain 10. By clicking on this code, you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the questions from CSIR NET 2022 question paper. Okay, these questions I have taken from February 2022 question paper. The question is based on the ionic strength. See here, very simple question. The amount of BaNO3 hold twice, molecular weight is 261.32 AMU required to be added to 500 grams of 0.11 moles per kilogram of solution of KNO3 in order to raise its ionic strength to 1 is approximately. It means we have already given a solution of KNO3 okay, and its concentration is 0.11 moles per kg. Right? Now, its grams are 500 grams. Okay? And now we are adding here BaNO3 whole twice solution to it so that the ionic strength is raised to 1. So we have to find out the amount of the BaNO3 whole twice that is required for increasing the ionic strength to 1. Okay, So this is the basic question. So first of all you should know about the ionic strength. What is the formula of ionic strength? If you don't know the basic concept behind the ionic strength, you can see my lectures of electrochemistry. I have already made a lecture on the ionic strength. So you can watch that. I will give you the link in the description box. Okay. So ionic strength is given by summation of Ci Zi square divided by 2. It means of each component we have to take the concentration and the square of its charge. Okay. We does not need to take plus or minus sign. Okay. We will not take the plus or minus sign, only we have to take the charge and it's a square and take all the summations and divide it by half. So we will get the ionic strength. First of all, see the ionic strength of KCl solution. When you have given the KCl solution alone, okay, in that case, the ionic strength will be equal to half, then summation of C1 Z1 square plus C2 Z2 square because there are only two components. One is K plus ions. There are two ions. K plus ions and Cl minus ions. Okay. In the KCl solution, you are getting two types of ions. K plus ions and Cl minus ions. So, just you have to see their strength. So, the concentration of both will be same. 0.11. Okay. And charge. Charge is plus 1 and minus 1. But we does not need to consider the plus or minus sign. So, 1 square plus 0 0.11 to 1 square. Okay. So, you are getting 0 0.22 divided by 2 or we can take half 0 0.22. This will be the ionic strength of KCl solution. Now, you are adding to it BaNO3 solution. Okay. When you are adding BaNO3 solution, see here what you are getting. When you are adding to it this solution, you are getting Ba plus 2 ions plus 2 NO3 minus ions. Okay. So, here if you are taking the concentration terms, if its concentration is suppose, its concentration is C, then its concentration will be C and its concentration will be 2C. Right. So, now we will have to add this solution to KCl solution. We are adding BaNO3 whole twice solution to KCl solution. So, its ionic strength will increase. Why? Because these ions are also present in the solution now. So, see their ionic strength also. Okay. So, we will see the total ionic strength of the KCl solution plus BaNO3 whole twice solution. So, we can write the ionic strength of solution of 
KCl plus BaNO3 whole twice. Okay, this solution. So now this total I will be equal to half. Now you know the strength of the KCl solution was half into 0.22. Okay, and then you have to need the ionic strength of this solution. So we will write here half, and then the concentration of Ba plus two ions. The concentration is we have assumed C. Okay, C. Write here C. Then its charge. Its charge is two. Two square plus. Write here its concentration. Its concentration is two C. Okay, and then write its charge. One square. So what you are getting? Half into zero point two two plus half into four C plus two C. Okay, you can take the half common. Half zero point two two plus six C. Okay. Now you have given that the ionic strength, the total ionic strength of the solution should be equal to one. Okay. So this we can write is equal to one. Okay. So now you can write here zero point two two plus six C is equal to two. So six C will be equal to two minus zero point two two. And it will be equal to 1.78. So the value of C will come 1.78 divided by 6 is equal to 0.29. This is your concentration. Your concentration, and you are getting the concentration in moles per kilogram. It means this is for one kilogram. One kilogram has 0.29 moles, right? And you have given 500 grams. Okay. You have given 500 grams. It means 1 by 2 kg. You have given 1 by 2 kg. So it will have the moles is equal to 0.29 divided by 2, right? So you can write it will be equal to approximately 1.45. Okay. This is moles. You have to need to find out the grams. So just you have to multiply it by the molecular weight. Okay. So molecular weight you have given is equal to 261. Three two am. Okay, so when you are calculating this value, this is coming approximately thirty eight point eight grams. Okay, this will be in this range. Okay, so this will be your answer. So in this way, you have to do the questions. If you are liking these videos, please share, please comment, and please subscribe. Thank you.